What's good, YouTube? It's Ricky Rose coming at you with another video. The video we're going to be doing today is how to get your mob player to overall 99 in just a few games. The first thing you have to do is go to your options and then go to your gameplay setting. When you go there, you can fix the difficulty level to whatever you want. I think you get more VC because all we're really going to be doing is filing out. Yeah, most of y'all probably already know how to do this. You know, from 2K15, I used to do that shit myself. For VC, not even for the mob player thing, for the stats, because you had to play the games. Also, change your speed level to 100 just to speed up the process. Um, I skipped most of the parts where I was falling out, because most of you, you don't really want to see that. You just want to get straight to the point, and that's what I did. I filed out already. That was my sixth file. You're going to be in loading screens more than you're actually going to be playing the game. So just keep a note of that. It will get boring after a while, but if you're really trying to get to 99, this is the fastest way you can do that. In this game, you get stat updates when you go to your live practice. You have to do five at least. When you do five, not at least, you have to do five actually. As soon as you go into your fifth live practice, there's going to be a little box that pops up in your right bottom hand corner. This character right here, you know, this is my point guard. I have two other characters, including my center and the shooting guard that I just made. So that's why, you know, his his rank is not that high. His stat is overall, whatever you want to call it. But that's why it's not that high because I'm working on all three characters trying to all get them up. But when you are on your off day, you cannot, well, you could do your connections but I don't recommend it because you're just trying to get these stats and move on but you could do the connections you could do the endorsements it doesn't matter but it is up to you if you're just trying to get your stats and get out then yes that is how you do it you know you don't you don't really have to do that but you can go to your live from practice and that's it you don't even have to go in there and do the drills you just have to show up and then leave once you do that, the game will recognize that, and it will count towards your um, attribute update, attribute update, upgrade. But as you can see right here, I just walked in, I press um, for start, and then I go to finish practice. And that's all you have to do. You have to keep doing that, and then, and then that's it. But remember, it takes five um, live practice to actually unlock one of them upgrades. And my fault, if you hear some raindrops in the background, it is raining heavy over here. I'm in New York currently. You know, I've been here all my life. But it's raining right now, so if you do hear raindrops, my fault. I can't do nothing about it. It's from the AC and the dropping on there. Well, back to the game. I have another off day. Sometimes you'll get one, two, or three off days in a row. And this one, I have two. This one will unlock my my um upgrade since it is my live, my fifth live from practice and this also allows you to get vc you know usually people say it's a glitch but if it was a glitch um how come 2k never patched it you know so i don't know if it's you know you can do it but since 2k never patched that file out thing they can't really you know you can't get punished for it because it's their fault for not fixing it and even then, you did play the game, so it's only right if you do get VC for it. But as you can see, in the right-hand bottom corner, you do get the upgrade unlocked. The little box popped up, and then I just pressed start and went to finish the practice. And that's it. I got my new upgrade, and I'm about to put it on my playmaking, because I think his playmaking is awfully low. Another thing I wanted to ask you guys, you know, I want you to leave a comment. Let me know. Um, you know what to make videos on because I have a whole bunch of badge videos already coming out I'm gonna put them out once per day and you know I, want, I probably want to put a gameplay of me playing with randoms or you know with my friends You know if I can upload twice a day, it's up to you. Whatever y'all want to see I want to upload Because I don't want to you know satisfy myself You know because I'm not the audience you guys are as you can see, I got my upgrade. I'm going to put it on my playmaking because as a point guard, I'm going to strip a lot. I don't know why. That shouldn't really be happening. But go when, you, when you've when done that, just go to your schedule. And if you have back-to-back -back games, do not play that first one. As you can see, I got Boston and Milwaukee. And then I have Phoenix and Washington. I'm not going to play the first one, which is the Boston. Simulate until the second game, which will be, for me, the Milwaukee one. Do not play the first one unless you want to get the VC. 
But if you're just trying to go to the off days, do not. I didn't simulate it because I have an off day left. So that's why I'm not simulating it for the video. But, you know, just leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let them know if you like the video, including what I said earlier. It's frozen. I'm out.